<sighs> Maybe not all things. Hmm, check it guys. I'm using this launcher for quite a while now, and this one is quite good. And probably, I wanna do a review about it. So, welcome back to Channel Tech with Nicky guys, and it's your host, Nick Dave. Well, I was using a phone one day with a Microsoft launcher as the last review, and I really liked the launcher's experience. But, I need something a bit more customizable. And, well, I have a treat for you guys. And say hello to Smart Launcher 6. It's not perfect but it's certainly for an enthusiast like us. Let's jump right in. Smart, Smart Launcher 6 can be downloaded in the Google Play Store and it's made by Smart Launcher team. It's Smart Launcher team, that's it. That's it. They have a lot of customizable things for your phone like app drawers, icon packs, launchers, and all those kinds of stuff. And I strongly suggest you guys to check it out by yourself in the Google Play Store. But in today's video, I'll be reviewing only the Smart Launcher 6. But if you do want a separate video which I combine all the Smart Launcher Steam stuff, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to reach three to 500 subscribers by end of the year and it'll really help me out then I can make more YouTube videos. Kitchen. They have a lot of things in this launcher. This launcher can make a boring phone to a phone with a little spice okay a little spice or maybe a lot of spice i mean a lot so starting off with the launcher it doesn't have any customizable thing on the lock screen and you need for lock screen you guys need to customize by your own self with your phone brand app store like teams app or samsung app store and all this kind of stuff and to unlock your phone the home screen doesn't look that different except for some font and some extra widgets like the snapchat widget i have and telegram and the gmail widget all those are stock from the me ui but it does give a good feel about it when you swipe up to the app drawer there's a lot into it and i mean a lot first of all the app drawer doesn't come up fully like the stock android but it will come up with app and they have individual icons that indicate about what app category it is like settings for like your setting app utilities for your utilities app your media consumption like discord instagram and finally like games that we have your game with the wrong icon packs it looks very very messy especially third for any kind of third party icon packs which you downloaded on google play store it doesn't look that good for this app drawer for these icons for this home screen and all those kind of stuff so i really suggest you guys to download the first party smart launcher team icon packs and the icon packs they have a lot but i won't be telling it in depth if you want to check it out by yourself i highly recommend it because they have a lot of icons that you can download within the icon pack studios like minimalism monstrosity iron man icon packs avengers icon packs all those kinds of stuff they have it and I highly recommend check it out by your own self. So, the right icon pack with the right wallpaper. And that's much about it for real. They, doesn't, they don't have much of a feature it's like uh, Microsoft. They don't have any bloopware. But they do tell you sometimes to like uh, buy this premium stuff they have into it. If you want them down, if you want to pay for that, all by means go ahead. For the stock experience of it, it doesn't feel like stock Android. And I believe... Stock Android is good, but this Smart Launcher 6 is not for everyone. It's for the enthusiast around it. If you, want, if you like to customize a lot of things in Nova Launcher, this thing is far more, far more, far more simpler to customize than Nova Launcher. With the right icon pack, with the right wallpaper, this looks absolutely awesome. Absolutely mind-blowing. I don't have any more words for that because it looks really good. good. If you download any kind of wrong wallpaper with the wrong icon packs, I'm telling you, that thing doesn't look good. Like, I mean, good. It looks atrocious, okay? It looks really, really atrocious. Let's move on all the way and let's go to the settings of the icon packs. If you go to the settings, there's something called global appearance, which helps you to customize the icon layout. Like, if you want to have a 6x6 six, six six grid or 5x5 five five grid or 5x6 grid, 
you can do it too, and they have a separate for the app drawer as well because to keep it to keep it separate and there are many modes and they have the accent color accent color as you guys know if you change any color if you change it to blue throughout your android experience will be most of the time you can see blue and if you're gonna go purple purple red red and all those kinds of stuff and they have kind of a blurish background that you want to have when you swipe up to your app drawers for transparency and all those kinds of stuff and they have something called gestures and hotkeys under the global appearance if you swipe up for if if you indicate anything like you want to swipe up and it will open camera if you swipe double down it will open like music app and all those kind of stuff and so after the adjusters and swiping shortcut stuff and there's a lot of interest some some into it on the setting we have something like the backup you should which you should guys have a pin that for your launcher to back up your i don't know icon packs your layout all of those kind of stuff for your new phone and there's even something called share your home screen that will took a screenshot of your phone and it you can add a notch or a hole punch on it and you guys can share your home screen throughout your social media and expose what kind of stuff you guys have so yeah finally they have the small thing if you swipe left they'll show you your news page your local news page and i'm telling you this is one of the nicest news pages that i've seen in an android smartphone they have a lot but it's good but it's not great let me tell you something guys with the microsoft launcher they'll give personal information like the screen on time the calendar the gmail that you have the leftover project you haven't done all those things are really useful and implementing them little by little may give me a thumbs up for this news page for me it gives a thumbs right to the center up for me at least it's really cool they have a lot of information all by means check by yourself because they have technology page gaming page movie page music page there are a lot of news but for me adding a bit more personal information about us may give us a bit more good enough experience throughout the news page and yeah overall in my opinion this android experience is quite good if you customize it well if you customize it well but still i highly recommend you guys to check it out by yourself so yeah that's for me guys thank you for watching guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and tell me in the comments down below what if you thought of it guys if you're new to this channel guys don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll check you guys in the next video talk to you guys later and i hope you guys enjoy